Oh, hello. Get back on board with Red's Gates. When we last left our intrepid hero, he was in his warehouse. That is where we now find him again. With lots of stale potatoes. Oh, these are not stale. You know, turning one of these buildings into a base is a lot of work. But of course, it's work we have to do if we want to be successful at surviving the zombie apocalypse. Also, somebody's knocking on the door. Yes. Stacks of frozen food, a car, and a bunch of stuff in that car, including a sledgehammer, which is amazing. So let's see if I can actually destroy some of these things that are in the way in this building. I might be able to dismantle them too. Give this a good whack. Hello, engineer mechanic. Nice to see you. Hmm. I thought I might be able to climb over these, but I can't. Yeah, Engineer Mechanic, according to this, I have two viewers right now. So it's you and somebody else, because I'm not actually viewing me at the moment, as far as I know. Let's see. Okay, so... We still have a lot of food. Is there any way for me to preserve this food? Well, I have to have a bunch more fridges and freezers, I guess. But they are all sort of already occupied right now. Is there a way? I don't think so. So they're going to have to turn into compost. Now, I've picked this specific warehouse, and obviously I don't have the skill right now to build stairs, so I can't build them upstairs yet, which this place is going to need at some point in upstairs, I think. It's best if I have my base on the top floor, and then maybe things like a garage downstairs. That way I won't get eaten as fast if the zombies get here. I think I should be able to, and this of course is pure speculation, I think I have that mod, build a ladder which should be there. Now, the ladder mod is one of my favorites, but I need a lot of metalworking plus a bunch of stuff. So right now it's time for me to get this place set up right. Now, this table is not necessary. These things here are also not necessary, but maybe I could turn, just take them apart with a blowtorch or something thereby earn me some metalworking skill. I just don't know if I have a blowtorch. Ah, uh, propane torch, there we go. But no welding mask. Did I not have a welding mask at some point? I get confused. Well, I've been spending a lot of time recently uh, visiting multiplayer servers. A couple of really good ones. One where I went like, nah, not entirely my cup of tea. If you want to know, you want to watch some of my old videos. And some that are not published yet. Why am I not armed, by the way? Yeah, I'm going to need cabinets and cupboards and stuff like that. And I'm going to need to do a lot of working on that 
carpentry skill, which is currently under the effect of a good modifier, which means I need to go and do some wood stuff. So I guess today is going to have to be another one of those. Go demolish a bunch of boxes days. Now, I have a lot of empty gas cans, but not any full ones. I'm going to put them in there with a plank in here. And I'm going to see if there's anything I can tear down. That'll give me some more experience as a company. But first, let's read this book, because we can. I forgot that when I went on that last trip, I picked up a bunch of magazines as well. Now, we are located not very far from Rosewood, and Rosewood has a school. In that school building, I expect that I should be able to find a rather large load of useful books. So I think I need at some point to go and to first to empty my car, and then to take that car, and to drive it into Rosewood, load it full of all the books that I can find, and then take them back here and read them all. I'm going to read every magazine I have right now first. So, Engineer Mechanic, how are you doing tonight? here and read all these books so that next time something terrible happens I am at least entirely prepared. But I'm going to do it in quick time. And clearly, it is time for bed. I'm going to bring a foraging book with me. Put the other Let's travel as light as I can. Oh yeah, of course, I need to put that television somewhere so that I can use it to watch all these amazing shows that will teach me many things. Let's see. Okay, right. right there. What time do I have that alarm set for anyway? I guess I'm only speaking. Ah, there we go. Seven thirty. All right, good. Let's see what that left foot looks like now. Ah, great. Let's disinfect that a bit.
Alright, so keep that bandage on me just in case with the alcohol wipes. And have a little bit of breakfast. In the form of cherries. This is going way too slow. I need to find some other bigger fruits. Oh, and some of these have gone rotten just now. Yeah, the dozen compost heap later. Maybe this watermelon sells. No, rot. You. Why does everything rot? I hate it when it does that. The peaches here. Nope. Lovely. Rotten corn peaches. Rotten watermelons. Well, I'm not going to waste a lot of time doing the whole... Um, I'm not going to waste a lot of time doing the whole... Let's uh, put all that rotten stuff in the compost heap this time. So first I'm going to just bring only the gas cans and the sledgehammer to town. And uh, maybe the tire pump. There we go. And then let's do it. Also, maybe I should have thought this through a little bit, because I think a slash from a sledgehammer and a hammer are not actually doing any weapons in this trip.
when I have the skills, I still think this would be a good spot to set up a base of my own. Something that I can build. I have to clear all these guys out in such a way that they can't accidentally set my base on fire. With big campfires. Zombies can burn for ages. That is where all the sledgehammer. Nah, not this time. Probably leave these guys on Mary Chase for a bit. Yeah. Apparently, somebody's car alarm was went off. I did not know zombies could do that. Now, I gotta admit that is kind of annoying because that car alarm went off exactly where I do not want the zombies to be. I'm going to try... to go by a slightly different way. Well, they're all being distracted by the noise. Oh, that car there somewhere. I'm gonna go and see if I can sneak in on this side. I don't even think I've checked this shed yet. Now, you'd say with this enormous fence, the school would be a great and defensible building, but it's not because the windows and some zombies set off a house alarm too. Let's try some of this. Dust mask, yes, with no other masks. I've got a saw, right? You agree. Always good to get like a baseball bat or something. I'm going to put my torch in there. You just need to start taking stuff from parts. Alright, let's take people in the corner. Maybe the zombies went to the Maybe they went for the car. And they went for something else. I still want to be. I found that uh, stupid desks actually contain a lot of things like books. Good, I have the key to the school. And sometimes food, too. It's actually worth the time to actually go through all these desks at some point. You never know what you might find. Could be awesome, could be useless. I just got meals. Lots of calories. See? Students are awesome. They hide the most amazing stuff in their desks. Too bad they were all zombified, eaten or something. Do they have scissors? Yep. Let's see what the teacher put in the cupboard. Alright. 
on that back coming down. Taking one of them, apparently. Yeah, they work as planned. Yeah. I'm wasting sneaking. There's zombies already after me. And I'm gonna lock them in the road. I am getting the heck out of here. Now, the general rule about surviving the zombie apocalypse is when zombies show up, you should just run the heck away. Unfortunately, there are enough zombies here that I would be running forever if I did. So I'm going to need to find a way to take these guys out. One at a time, preferably, because I am a dude with a weapon at this particular time. I am just going to fall down and stand on There we go. One by one. Let's move through. I need something big that I can swing. And the bastards are coming after me from everywhere. Right, you know what? Abortes. Find something bigger to hit him with, and then I'm coming back. Okay, we find, find something big to hit with. Is also the question. I think that should do it. I think that is a fire station. I think that is an axe or something. Oh, that's why the noise. Because of that helicopter. Thought there was a weird sound. Hey, what is that? It was a weird sound of the car. It's apparently not. Well, that's not. purpose of that helicopter is except for drawing zombies to people. So I'm assuming that it is doing exactly what it's supposed to try to do. Draw zombies to people and annoy them. Let's see if I can do anything useful with
fire zombies. Let's see, lots of fire zombies. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna stay there. Maybe I can find something in the back of this truck. has a bunch of money, which has basically no value now it's the zombie apocalypse. Whenever that helicopter circles around, I always feel like I'm doing one of those police car chases you see on American TV sometimes. That's what the things I was looking for. And a little mallet. Good. This is going to be my new melee weapon. Let's get those pipes in here. Let's see this bullshit. Let's stay around. Still here. Let me see of my other friend, the one that's alive and flying in the culture. Oh, 
distance. stuff I can use to maintain this pot. I'll just swap it for another one. Getting a bit dinged up. Here's another question. How long can one helicopter stay flying around one guy Without noticing that they're drawing all the zombies to it. Like, hello, are you not paying attention or something? Fire truck. Maybe it If I have an axe, I'm not sure. Axe, yes. Axe. Cut loose, always good. Yes. Now I'm going to start to get the business. on axe books or something. I'm just gonna have to get the experience with the axe and kill it. Which would be hitting the zombies over the head. Health drain, drawing a lot of these uh, breathers away from. Me. The axe won't wear as fast. Now, the chopper seems to have buggered off, which is good. So now I can start cleaning up those wood weapons. So many interesting things that people. Getting rather busy here suddenly. 
And of course, Ren Gaming's over here. He's prone to getting tired. Which is a thing you don't really want to be during the zombie apocalypse, because then the zombies will chase you down and get you. So I'm gonna chase him, or at least... Nah. I can follow me for a bit. And then hopefully my car will start quickly. Line of sight. Be line for that truck, which looks nice. Oops. Okay, that did not work as expected. So, since I'm already kind of tired, I should probably focus on moving at a regular city. So, I'm a panic space. Running like that. There we go. Good, that worked the first time. Okay, so I've already found me an axe, which is good. Not really hurt that much yet. But at least it's given me literally a fighting chance. Dead are everywhere here. Acceptably quiet. So, this is the light. At least it's got a bunch of bookcases. So, let's see what I can find. Uh, again, I don't have this one yet. I think I have this, I'm sure. Definitely this one and this one. And these two. Probably useful. And then the bag was full, so quickly going to unlock the car. With the exception of more chips. I think my out of town base thing is not as well thought through as I thought it was. I don't really think that probably a little bit. You wear another jacket? Good. Let's cut that up. Make my bag bigger with this. Just let's really quickly scan them for magazines because magazines are superbly useful sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I am gonna have to make sure that this building does not burn. Good cooking, useful. If not, then we have that. Generators, yeah, we got that. And, and, nope, nope. It might be that I'm picking up stuff that I already have in my bag. I'm not paying careful attention. I'm just looking for red and unread. And I can always use it to start fires with later. So, let's see, what else? Uh, this cooking, I think I had one or two. I can't believe it. 
two, I had right. tailing useful dropping useful. Right. Let me make sure that I get at least the box I need to get to the low level of basically everything. What's the date I have? Uh, fishing picked up earlier. Fishing, what else I have right here? Two foraging, I know I have one. Uh, let's see, Garden Creation 3, I got that one. So I need to get up to at least level 6 carpentry, but level 7 is even better. So if I can find a carpentry 4, then I'm already kind of happy. That's 5, I only need 5. Yeah, I think this is the best I'm going to be able to expect from this. My bad. Another jacket. I'm still good for cutting up the strips. Make some armor out of that. It is from when it gets really cold. It's really cold. Let's really check. So, in case you caught the video where I was at some point going through the um, Salty Zombies Zomboid server, or was it? Uh, it was either that one or the one from um, uh, Project Apocalypse. I was going through student desks and I came across every magazine that let you build like ghetto armor and stuff and I was like why do these kids have these books? What possible survival use would they get out of it in a normal school situation? I had to come to the conclusion that school is jungle man. School is jungle. Zeddies, it's been nice and warm. Okay, so now that I have an axe, I think my warehouse got a tiny idea might have got this slightly stable. So I think I'm going to spend a while figuring out how to do better. And the thing I should probably do better is I should do it probably. See if I can develop this place. Where's that place? I think it's here. Yep, there we go. I should see if I can develop this place to be something. See if I can take out a couple of these guys. Huh? Being away from town that far is nice in one respect. 
now that I have some serious weaponry at least. Although I've already eaten up some of that. I might choose to actually try and take on the zomboids that are walking around near my house, clear it out as far as I can. And just live life on the high side over there. Grow potatoes like where I'm walking. Like it or something. Still one of the better jobs in that. Didn't actually do that in the book, but as far as I can. Right, gods and garters. There are so many zombies. Were all these people just sort of like visiting or something? The zombie outbreaks suddenly hit and they all decided to just sort of zombify themselves there. Looks like I'm already lost in life. Surprised that didn't cost me the other one. See if I can do anything with these tomatoes before they go totally bad. I think I'm gonna actually eat 12 tomatoes. No, no, no. Don't need a stale tomato. I'm good, I'm happy.
Let's see how the healing is going. I seem to be okay. Mostly. I'm still losing a bunch of weight. Keep trying to ingest all these tomatoes while I can. See what we brought back. Let's sit here. I should be able to read everything that's in the car. Now, let's start with what I have in my bag. I don't need this one yet. I don't need that one yet. So cooking is coming along nicely. Let's start with all the magazines. Okay, I have that one. So that goes on the floor. this slightly faster. So how to reach how to use generators is the book everybody's always looking for. I think I had the book of foraging somewhere here. I'll be in the car. Yep, there we go. There's a book I need to read because I need to start doing that. else in that car is nice to read but not entirely required yet. Required one. All these gonna go eat more tomatoes. It has now funnily enough it has now been hours since I ate those tomatoes, but it feels like seconds. This was what time skipping does to you. Okay, let's see. Sprinting. Lots of stuff I don't need right now yet. Ah, well, I do actually need to retain it. Trapping, not so much. Mechanics, level 1, yes, but the rest of them, not yet. So let's have a look at the skill books category. So, 
carpentry one two three yes it's four no wait wrong way please not for now mechanics and metal working are the ones that I really want right now and tailoring so I care for okay, yeah I guess I still have a lot to leave I need more tomatoes for this So, let's sit here and read some more books. And we're going to start with metalworking. Some more tomatoes. I'm still losing weight, even though I've had two sacks of tomatoes. So apparently, tomatoes are not very calorie-rich foods, I guess. I wish I had cabbages instead. Apparently cabbages are awesome. Okay, so I've read this one. Let's go to the next one. Mechanics. Now, in a lot of ways you might say that spending an entire day reading is a waste of your time. But I can tell you, in Zomboid, that is not the case. If I spend an entire day reading, then I then have an advantage all of the days after, at least until I skill up far enough to make the books obsolete. There we go. Now let's sleep. Apparently I'm hungry again. Tomatoes don't fill for very long. left. Yes, good. Now, I have one more book to read, and then I'm getting my bloody behind in gear. I just lost a kilogram. I assume that's kilograms, not pounds, otherwise I am really, really light. Alright, last moment of reading. It's time to do something with all these newfound skills. Especially with metalworking. Start by seeing if I can do anything about these things that are in the way. For example, can I dismantle them? No, I can't. Oh, wow. That's so terrible. Wait, no. Oh, no. I can make things. Alright, that's something else. Well, I guess that's not going to work. Okay. Well, oh, let's eat some tomatoes first thing. Oh, 
just going to run, add random vegetables because the only vegetables I have are tomatoes. So. skills so they can do a lot of things. Have I got a needle and thread yet? Because if I have a needle and thread I should be able to at least alter my bag a little bit. Of course not. Would it be great if I had but This is going to stop light from getting in, but luckily I have windows in the top floor that will actually let light in. So that is already something that's going to help me. Can I cannot disassemble these just yet? Maybe if I get all this stuff up. So how much of my... Yeah, let's barricade first. See, it's not that I think that no zombies are ever going to be able to get through that. Wait, are there are holes in this building. Oh no, that was just. Two entirely empty threads. That can be good. I'm wondering if maybe I can use them to do farming inside of it something. Or if I can just build a giant wooden platform between these two and build a farm on it. Yeah, that sounds like something I would do. Alright. Now, unfortunately, in this game, the zombies are not going to clean themselves up. It's usually one of my sandbox settings where I just don't let corpses despawn easily. Um, I'm also not trusting this area just yet with uh, stuff like... I don't have any good shovels yet, do I? Oh, gosh darn it. I also don't have the option to cremate them, so I'm going to need to score a shovel somewhere. Now, making a plan 
And that's the first thing I need to do, because I keep running around like a headless chicken, and it is not bringing me what I want. Right here. This is where I want to build my home. That means I need to clear out an area around it. I'm going to try a different route this time. I'm go there, there, there. Maybe gas up a little bit if I can. And then there. Barricading actually got me skill for metalworking. Yeah, three points. Awesome. Obviously, not as awesome as I would like to be. So, we need to start breaking metal stuff. This bar isn't so good. So I'd expect to. Actually not. So, yeah, obviously all of my stuff is still in here. Luckily it wasn't that much. Is it normal that I'd be able to fill the gas tank while the engine is still running? It's not recommended, is it? Oh, happy that that possibility for now at least. Alright, now let's see. Just this point. Looks like we're all calm. Is this? It's a movie theater. 
with a lot of cars in it. Only few exits. either. to deal with that pretty well. Okay. Yeah. 
It's a fork. Park my car or somebody or something. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, this I can work. Sometimes I make that mistake. Okay, so it's going to need a few repairs. And I still need to clear out some disease. Because, for example, this gentleman over here is still not A surprising well stocked kitchen. Huh. So we've got some medical supplies, some beds, and even some useful videos. Okay, I'm definitely taking this place over. I just need to go close the fence first. So, yeah, I'm definitely building a house here somewhere. Make this farming land. Yeah. Now, though. Well, and as Rens Gamings goes to bed, I think it's time for me to do the same. So, I'm gonna hit the digital sack. In the meanwhile, I'm also gonna hit the actual sack. At least, when he wakes up. Why is he so nervous? or anything.
Yeah. Well, we're in my new house. This is where I sign off. Wherever you are, have an amazing day. And hope to see you again.